What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Two Vlogs, and I'm back with another banger for you. Today, I got the new Canic Rival, SFX Rival. This is the newest Canic to the family. As you guys know, I love Canics. I um, love everything about them, not just the trigger. I know everybody talks about the trigger for Canic. I love everything about the gun, not just the trigger. But today, I want to show you guys uh, the new Canic to the family, the SFX Rival. I got some footage of me shooting it. Um, but that's gonna be coming to you in a later video. Right now, it's just a breakdown of an unboxing and the breakdown of my new Canic rival. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone to the, my channel, King True Vlogs, and I'm here with the unboxing and the breakdown of my new Candy SFX rival. Without further ado, let's get right into it, because I'm excited, just like you guys are. Wait, 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 time out. So, this is the box that it comes in. It's a big, pretty, sturdy box, a little heavy, but sturdy box, nonetheless. It says Canic SFX, oh, it just says Canic rival. Canic rival. guys get inside the box nice right nice uh, you got your instructions as everybody knows every gun kit comes with instructions all your paperwork inside the sleeve here uh, you got some cleaning tools on this side uh, you got some more tools on this side you got your little mini gun which I want definitely want to show off if I can get it out this little gun itself also is a tool Inside the handle part comes off and you have more tools and you got more screws, bolts, washers, and you can actually change the sight, the front sight actually on the rifle. This is more pieces for the handle, which I don't use because I got a piece on that, which I'll tell you guys later. But yeah, this is how it comes in. So, This is the Canic SFX Rival. Comes with a nice sturdy case. But what makes this gun different from all the other Canics is this is their entry level into competition shooting. Um, as you know, Canic has a lot of different types of guns, but this is, actually no, this is their second one. The first, I guess, model into competition was probably the SFX. And then this is the XFX Rival. So I think the XFX might have been the first entry level gun into competition. Uh, but as you can say, this is my this is my competition shooting gun I'll be using. This is the Canic SFX Rival. As you guys can see, no mag, chamber clear, nothing's in it. Um, I have the Holosun uh, X2 on here with the um, as you guys can see on the top. What is that they're called? Again? Uh, solar panels, I guess, to help recharge the battery. Um, I also got the rubber grip put on because I like the finger grooves. As you guys can see, it's got the rubber sleeve with the finger grooves on it. I think Glocks come with stuff like that, but. I had to get the, as you can see, it's a little rubber sleeve I put on. You can see a nice firm grip. I like how the finger grooves are too. And if any, you guys know anything about Canics, you know you got the um, 
the uh, firing pin there indicator to let you know it's uh, ready to shoot. This doesn't have um, the tip up top lets you know that the chamber is loaded, but I guess it's part of the competition shooting types of weapons. But uh, this is a longer barrel size than most of the mechanics. This one here is the, um, this is the SA. This is the Canic SA. Uh, let me just make sure it's cleared. As you guys see, no magazine, chamber cleared. This is the Canic Mod 2 SA. And as, as you guys can see the difference, it's definitely a longer barrel than their standard canics. But this will be um, my entry level into competition shooting. I actually want to start getting into doing some competition shooting. Um, and this is probably the gun I'll be using. I took this gun to the range already and love the way it shoots. As you guys know, it's a canic, so canic already has the rep of being good trigger, a smooth shooting gun. So when you add all those features into putting it into a competition gun, then you have a serious, um, a serious type of weapon you got. Um, I can see from the this side. I'll try to hold it so you guys can see the all the features. Top, other side, and back. This uh, Holson uh, X2 only has the red dot. The smaller red dot, not the one with the red dot with the circle on the outside of it. Um, but like I said, this is my first Holson. This is actually my first handgun with a red dot, to be honest. So um, this is something new for me to get into because as you see, a lot of my firearms handguns don't have red dots. Even some of them are compatible for red dots. Just never bought one, never put one on. I was just really good at the iron sights. But um, this is my first handgun that I bought with the red dot. Um, I love it. Um, it's it as long as you practice. I'm gonna say practice, practice, practice. Because just because you put a red dot on a gun and just put it put the red dot on the target and just pull the trigger doesn't mean that's where the bullets is gonna go. You know what I mean? It's still you gotta know the fundamentals, how to hold the gun, how to, it's what you call it, trigger control. It's where you put the finger on the trigger, how much finger to put on the trigger, and how smooth to pull the trigger. There's a lot to go into it. You don't just put a red dot on the gun and think you're gonna be, you know, John Wick or John Wayne or whatever. All of a sudden, it takes still takes practice, but um, as you know, what they say practice makes perfect. So I mean, I'm just gonna keep getting better and better at myself because it's way different from shooting iron sights. I'm really good with iron sights, so this having this feature in my gun is is basically I'm learning to shoot all over again. It feels like because I took it to the range, the first few shots was dead accurate, but then the other shots was a little off. So I'm getting a feel of it, and I want to start practicing like pulling from the holster to not having to find the red dot. That's the other thing. It's when you got the gun down here to pull it up to know exactly where the dot is without having to sit there and figure out where, wait, where, wait, where the red dot go? Is it there? I can't see it. Like that thing. I want to be able to pull it from the holster and boom, red dot's already on target. So like I said, that takes more practice too. But um, I love the gun. This thing is a beauty, feels great in my hand, shoots great. Love it. Um, you get two magazines inside the case. Uh, you get extra mounting plates for optics. So basically you can put almost any kind of optic or red dot. I'll say any kind of red dot on this gun. You have plates for almost every type. Um, it comes with metal best base plates to put on the magazine, which I have on one of these already. And what that does is, like I said, this is a competition shooting gun. So when you hit that, Mag release, as you can see the mag release is kind of popped out a little bit, I'm gonna try the best way to show you guys. How the mag release button is sticking out way further than most mechanics. It's because you can pop that button easily. You know your finger can go right to that button and pop it out. So just like that. I'm gonna have to look. I know exactly where the magazine is popping out. So it adds weight. The metal base plate I put on it adds weight to the magazine. So when you hit that button, it comes shooting out. Like I say, it's a competition gun, so they're gonna have a lot of competition accessories in here. Um, like I said, two magazines, two metal base plates, and I can get this one out. 
Yeah. Comes with its own, you know, standard mag loader. I have another, I have a more durable one. But hey, it's free. Can't argue with that. Um, this, from what I've been told, never used it, but from what I've been told, this holster that this one comes with can be used in competition. Now, if anybody does competition shooting, know about the rules. Uh, the magazine has, or not, I'm gonna say magazine, I'm sorry. Your holster has to be a certain type of way. You can't just use any holster in competition shooting. And as you guys can see, the little groove that's stuck out right about here, it's so when you're holstering, you can pull out the gun, let me hit the button, <laughs> part of the bloopers. You can pull out the gun and as you can see, draw much faster because there's a, you have that groove right in there so you can pull it out, not even all the way and automatically start to draw. You have to pull it all the way out the you know, holster to draw. That little groove right in here, just so you can pull and automatically before you get all the way out the holster, draw. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much everything that's in here. You got the cleaning, you got the tools. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If anybody's getting into war or wanting to get into competition shooting, I would highly recommend the Canik SFX Rival. It's a uh, lightweight compared to most guns itself. It's a smooth shooting gun, trigger, as you know, beautiful, flawless. Um, and it's accurate right out the box, even without the Halsen X2 uh, red dot on it. With just using iron sights, right out the box, accurate. So, like I said, if anybody wants to get into competition shooting, which I might start looking into doing, because I mean, let's face it, guys, you take your gun to the range, you use your ammo, shooting at the target. That's it. You know what I mean? I want to do more with my firearm, you know what I mean? Not just go to the range, you know, putting a few shots on a, on a board and say, woo, look how good I am. That's it. That's it. We go home. I actually want to do more with my firearm. I want, you know, I want, definitely want to start getting into doing some competition shooting with it, taking it to the next level, as they say. But um, this is the newest gun, handgun to the family. And as you know, it's the, definitely the Canik. This is their newest Canik out, the SFX Rival. And then you have the SFX Rival S, which is a uh, stainless, heavier gun, all stainless. Uh, but yep, yeah, I love this gun. I definitely would recommend it, even if it's just regular shooting to at the gun range. If you don't want to do any competition with it, just regular shooting with it, I would definitely recommend this gun to you guys, to anybody who asks. I love this gun. And I might even start making this my ECW. I actually might start doing that. I actually might start making this my ECW uh, carry. I love it that much. It's a beautiful gun. And I, I must admit, with the grip on it, oh, it's, it feels so good in your hand. Wow. And I mean, you can't blame it. You got that extra grip. It's a rubber, it's a rubber sleeve I put on the handle. But it gives it the grooves like you know like Glocks have. It gives it the finger grooves, but it gives it that rubber grip. It's not just a you know the um, the handle the, the the gun comes with. It's a polymer handle. It's a polymer handle. It gives it that rubber and it's a better feel to it. Love it. Love it. Love this gun. So if you like the review I did of this Canik SFX Rival, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button right there. This button right here. This button right here. Hit that button right there. That button right there. Hit that button right there. <laughs> that pace.